Hello, and welcome to video 3 of iStance Biodiversity and the Senses series. Today we're going to be talking about the auditory system. Yay! Yay! For this, our receptors are hair cells, which we'll talk about in a little bit, and our stimulus are sound waves. So sound doesn't travel very well through the air. It's for this reason that our ears need to conduct the sound wave into the location where we have the hair cells. So we have the external ear, our pina, and then the sound travels in through the ear canal, hitting the air, eardrum, and is then traveling um, through the middle ear bones into what we call the cochlea. So the cochlea has these little hair cells, and when the sound wave travels through them, they move. And this movement is what um, gets picked up by the auditory nerve and is transmitted back to our brain. So different ear sizes and ear anatomy exist. For example, fish don't have an external ear. They also don't have middle ear bones. And this is because sound travels really well through water, but not through air. So this is why we need those little ear bones to transmit the sound into um, our cochlea, but fish don't. There's also, for example, mosquitoes that have little antenna instead of an external ear, and this helps them to pick up sound. This chart shows the different ranges that some animals can hear. So you can see from the chart that humans hear in about the 20 to 20,000 hertz range, and it goes all the way up to dolphins that can hear above 150,000 hertz. This is how they use echolocation, which we'll talk about coming up. So echolocation is used by bats, orcas, and dolphins, and what they do is they send out a pulse of sound, and that sound gets reflected back to them by objects in the distance, whether that be food or um, just other ships. And then what they are able to do is determine where that object is and how far away it is. So as you can see in this video, there's a blindfolded bat, so he can't see, and he's still able to navigate his way through these two poles without using any vision, just echolocation. Another example of hearing is by looking at owls. So owls also don't have external ears, but what they do have is this huge face. And framing that face are some very hard feathers. When sound comes to them, their face is designed in such a way that the feather surrounding it will pick up the sound and funnel that into their ears. So how does hearing help us survive? Well, how about with predators wanting to find prey? Because they don't need to physically get up and move around to see where the prey is, they can just lie very still and just move their ears to locate the prey. It helps them to be better hunters. On the opposite hand, prey is also able to stay hidden from predators because they're able to see and hear when predators are approaching. When bats are hunting insects, the insects are able to hear that sound wave and they're able to also send out a sound that confuses the bats and so they don't know where the insects are. So we talked about sound waves not traveling well through air, but they do travel well through water. To demonstrate how sound waves can travel, um, you can watch as, as the water kind of ripples when little droplets hit it. And that's exactly how sound waves are able to kind of travel around. So, Part of that is what we call the Doppler effect. When an object is emitting a sound and it's in motion, then something that is in front of this object is going to experience a louder sound than something that's behind this object, as you can see in the picture. Now it's your turn. So for the classroom activity, you're going to be creating a cup telephone. You and a partner will each have a cup that's connected by a string, and then you will funnel your voice into the cup and see if it comes out clearly at the other end. Then you're going to put some cotton balls into the cup and see if that changes the sound. You're also going to try locating the source of a sound by closing your eyes and your teacher is going to walk around the room and call out different things and you have to point to where she is. Thank you for joining us for this video.